Hi, this is Doug Schneider. Welcome back to Real Hi-Fi. It's been a long time since I've made an episode because I've been traveling. You can see our videos about that on this channel. But now that I'm back, I want to address a topic that's been coming up in two previous videos. And that is that lossless compression, even though the word compression is there, means lossless. So some of you might be wondering why in the world I even have to make this video if you already know that a lossless compression scheme like FLAC is truly lossless. Well, in the two previous videos, which were about FLAC and WAVE, and WAVE is not compressed, but FLAC is, people routinely put comments in that, well, it's compressed, so something must be lost. So this video is to show you how nothing gets lost. Now, the way I'm going to show you the how part is not by showing you exactly what FLAC or some other lossless compression scheme does, but by using a rather rudimentary example of how you can encode data with less space. Like I said, it's all about space efficiency. But I also want you to understand this idea of lossless compression is far from new. It dates back to 1989 with the introduction of the well-known ZIP format. And I was a computer guy back then, and when ZIP came out, I was skeptical. But it just took a couple times when I took a file, zipped it, saw that it got much smaller, and then unzipped it and saw that it came back to the same size to realize it works. So now that example, a very simple example, but it should get the point across. Now, another point to get across, though, is what is a bit? It's a one or a zero on off. But think of it as a one or a zero and each one or zero takes up a space. And oftentimes in music file terms, you'll hear 16 bits because that's what the compact disc was specified at. 16 bits at 44.1 kilohertz. So what I've done is typed out 16 bits. 00111000000. One 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 zero zero. Sixteen spaces. But that's way more space than we need to take if efficiency is what we're after. So what if instead I encoded the first two zeros as two zero? The two to represent two zeros. It doesn't really save any space. But one one one, if I put three one instead, I save a space. And for the next five zeros, I put Five zero. Now I've saved three spaces. And then four one and two zero. I've gone from 16 spaces to 10 spaces. Now here's the thing. Because everyone watching this likely understands what I've just done with my encoding, they can decode it into the original 16 bits. From 16 spaces to 10 spaces, and you can take those 10 spaces and make them back into the original 16 spaces. And it's not just 16 spaces. It's 16 spaces with the ones and zeros in the exact same spots. Completely lossless. Completely accurate. Now, like I said, that's not exactly how the FLAC or whatever encoding scheme works. They have their own encoding scheme, but the idea is exactly the same. They re-encode the data for maximum space efficiency, meaning less space. And then, because your playback software knows the encoding scheme to make it that way, it can decode it. And that's all there really is to it. So in closing, I want to say what many people already know, and that is lossless compression works. Even though the word compression is there, it simply means space saving on the storage device. It gets compressed to a smaller state and uncompressed to the original state. It works. And for those who say, well, bits aren't bits, at that point, they are just bits, a one or a zero on or off. Now the bits might not just be bits in the digital to analog conversion process at a specific point. 
but that's a topic for another video. For now, thanks for watching.